Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 As you probably heard, the 2023 Toyota GR Super is going to be available with a manual transmission. Yes, this has been long rumored, but what is a surprise is they're putting it on the 3 liter straight six engine. Yep, same specs as the auto in the previous years, 382 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque. But what is surprising is we expected the manual to be offered on the two liter turbo four cylinder version because the BMW Z4 did offer that in other markets in a manual transmission. And BMW does not offer the manual transmission with the three liter turbo six. So that is pretty exciting. Toyota did some extensive redesigns to accommodate this transmission. And we'll talk about more of those details in a bit. But how will this affect me? As you guys know, I have a 2020 eight speed auto GR Supra three liter premium. And how will it affect the video I made earlier this year saying I was going to buy a 2023 sports car and one of which is the new Z because it offers that manual transmission. So we'll talk about that as well in this video. But tell me guys what you think in the comments below. How do you feel about the manual Supra? Do you own an auto? Will you be switching? Or are you new to Supra because of the manual? You want to buy the manual version. Uh, interested to hear all of your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe and check out my past videos of my 2020 Supra. I have a ton on the channel if you're interested to hear all of my ownership experience with this car. So about some details on the manual transmission. This was specifically engineered by Toyota for the Supra, as I said, the Z4 doesn't offer this combination or any B58 that I know of uh, offer a manual transmission. Now, I did drive a manual M2, the latest generation, uh, or the previous generation, I should say now, uh, manual competition. To be honest, I wasn't thrilled with the feeling of the shifter, and I don't like that the gate has the reverse at the top left. Uh, I was actually catching this gate from the one to two shift and um, it was really a vague shifter. But Toyota does say in the press material that they have re-engineered the, the lever, the shift knob, the quality of shift engagement. Everything has been retuned. I hope for a better manual experience. I love the manual box in the GT86 when I reviewed it in the past, and I'm hoping uh, for a better feel in this BMW supplied manual with Toyota tweaks. So Toyota has modified the transmission housing to fit the drive shaft and gear set. Now the gear set, I'm not sure if they changed the, the actual ratios in the transmission. Of course, the final drive ratio has changed from the eight speed auto, but that's not a surprise given the reduced number of gears and manuals traditionally have a shorter final drive. They also engineered a larger diameter clutch with reinforced spring and a larger friction area to accommodate the higher torque of the B58 straight six. Oh, also there's auto rev matching that can be turned off. A nice feature that the GR86 doesn't have. Now they also adjusted the electronics, the stability control, traction control, also steering and suspension, but that goes for all of the 2023 Supras. 2023 Supras are getting these new wheels, which uh, kind of mixed on the gray. I, I rather have black. Also, there's a, going to be the special edition of the manual transmission versions that, with the gray or white matte finish that comes with this light tan interior leather and that's only on the special edition including on the steering wheel which is a cool touch now some unfortunate things about the manual as i said the center console now protrudes a little bit more into the passenger space so it looks in the picture also you are going to lose some features unfortunately with the manual transmission you can't get the adaptive cruise control 
The driver assist with the manual eliminate, eliminates the full speed dynamic radar cruise control, which is an awesome feature that I've grown to love in the Supra. I really hate to lose that feature, but uh, that's how it is. Also, you lose your automatic emergency braking, which I guess isn't so big a deal. But yeah, so you do lose some of those. No, no word on pricing yet. And this will be arriving later this year in 2022. Now, there are some other changes for the 2023 Supra, even the auto. Uh, gets an upgraded stereo, still 12 speaker, but I guess they did some tweaks to make it sound a little better. And all of the 2023 Supras get the suspension modifications and the tweaked stability control and steering. But the big one is there's a new blue for 2023. Finally... They brought back a blue and you know me i love blue cars and this one's pretty cool looking in my opinion definitely have to see it in person but similar more similar to my corvette color it's like a medium blue uh very excited about this color so of course you know that's the one i would go for if i would make the switch but let's talk about that a little bit uh, you know, it's definitely a possibility. I would say I'll add it to the list of 2023 sports cars I'm considering. The Z car still hasn't been released with pricing and availability. I'm not sure if it's delayed, but, you know, I'd love to make a comparison of those cars. I still like the styling of the Super better, but yeah, it's, it's going to be compelling either way. Again, there's no pricing for either cars right now, so, so it's hard to compare, but Again, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'll keep you posted with my decision. Hopefully, I will be getting a press car from Toyota eventually here. Probably won't be until next year at this point, given how late these are coming out this year. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.